Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla TV, here to talk to you today about the Danny Gray Long Haul 2UP XL seat for Harley. You should be looking into the long haul if you need a seat that offers the maximum in comfort. This thing is currently being cranked out for 08 and up touring bikes. All the late model stuff, you guys should have a long haul available for you. Installation on this, like most seats, is a one out of three beards on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. Just about anybody with a brain and a wrench should be able to get this thing onto their bike and be riding minutes later. Let's get right into this thing. First things first, like all Danny Gray seats, this thing is covered in leather. I love leather covers. They wear nicely, they develop personality, they stay looking good over the course of your bike, but they also have that lived in look. I think it looks really nifty. You can also see this stitching in here. The stitching is phenomenal, there's no question about that. This definitely has the look of a custom seat. No one is gonna look at this saddle and think, hmm, that might be a stocker. So flipping this thing over, you can see this carpeting down here. Danny Gray does this on all their seats, full carpeting. Uh, what this is gonna do is protect your fender. This is especially important for those of you who bounce between a solo and a two up seat. Rather than having your pan potentially dig through uh, your paint primer, possibly into metal, this carpet's gonna help protect your fender for a little bit longer, keep it looking nice a little bit longer. What you can't see underneath here is the fiberglass base pan they use in this seat. Fiberglass is a great pan material. It's not super heavy, but it is super, super rigid. Um, it sounds counterintuitive, but a rigid pan is actually gonna help support you. It's gonna help um, keep its shape over the life of the seat. It's not gonna get stock, you know, flexy and, and all, all sorts of mushy like your stock saddle does. It's gonna keep its body throughout the life of this seat. So wrapping up the guts of this thing, you can see it is a nicely constructed saddle. This is the point when normally I would start talking about installation and we'd roll out of this video, except we haven't talked about the best part of this seat, and that is Airhawk technology. <laughs> Airhawk technology is pretty cool. So what it is is a cushion of air that you will actually ride on. Um, Airhawk has been making seat pads forever and ever and ever. They're really fantastic. There's this light cushion of air in there, and what it does is it elevates you up off the saddle a little bit, and it gets air flowing underneath you. Keeps you cool, keeps you dry, keeps you comfortable, and just that little bit of air. It's not super high pressure like those 90s sneakers where you'd pump them all up. It's really low pressure. There's just a little bit of air underneath you, but it allows air to circulate. Keep, like I said, keeps you cool, keeps you dry, keeps monkey butt at bay. Um, Airhawk is awesome technology. The only thing is up until this seat, this seat was created, you had to have an additional Airhawk pad on top of your seat. They do work really well, but they look kind of skeezy. They just don't look that great. It's definitely something that's been thrown onto a saddle. You can tell every time you see one. They're super comfortable, but they don't look all that great till this seat came along. This seat's sort of a game changer because this has it baked right into the seat. If you take a peek here, you can actually see the controls down here. So where this little bump is, is how this gets inflated. And then you can see also here, there's this little release knob. Now, as if that's not cool enough, it's split. There's actually dual zones. So you and your passenger can have different, different air uh, pressures in there. You can have different amounts of air in there. You can elect whether or not you want to use it both together or, or singly. So it, it's a technology that's been baked into this seat. Um, Airhawk has worked with the medical community to, to actually to make this work. And this is, this is proven technology. This isn't just stuff that they decided as a marketing gimmick. This works really well. And because of that, this seat is the only thing on the market that has this. It's, it's the only thing like it. I think that this thing is fantastic just because no one else has this idea out there. So in terms of installation, now we're getting to it, um, you're looking at a one bearder. This is a very easy install. As I said before, if you've got tools and brain cells, you should be able to get this onto your bike. You've got a tab at the front, it's gonna slide underneath in your, in the, into the slot in your frame, and at the rear, you're gonna have one um, point of attachment. Now, depending on the year of your bike, you may have a Torx bit back there, you may have a, a, um, a flathead screw, you may need a little wrench to get that, that fastener off there, but really it's just one point of attachment at the rear. All of you should be able to get this thing onto your bike in under 10 minutes, and after that 10 minutes is up, you should be out feeling the difference that Airhawk makes. Like I said, I think this thing is fantastic. It's, it's a totally different idea and you can't get this anywhere else. I really, really like this saddle. My opinion is not the only one that matters though. Click below, check out what some riders who already have one of these in their bike have to say about it. I think you're gonna find they find it very comfortable. If you've got any questions that I didn't cover, get in touch with us, 877-792-9455. You can also get us by email, cs at revzilla.com. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here. Yeah!